Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. I'm super excited today because, oh, pesto, um, this isn't about you pesto, okay? Goodbye. I'm super excited today because I'm going to try out this H-I-M-I, uh, I think that's how you say it, gouache set. And I saw this being advertised on Amazon and I was like, hey, that looks super duper. Satisfying. Cause it's like little boxes of jelly gouache and I was like hang on a second this looks awesome and I really want to try it out so I bought it and now I'm going to use it and we're gonna try it out together but yeah these are really awesome so this also comes with like this little palette here which was really cool I think we just need to uh, peel these all off which is gonna take some time uh... See, that's the problem though, when you peel them off, the lids are kind of taking some of the paint with them. They are activated with water, so you can let them dry and then reuse them. You can't do that with acrylic and you can do that with watercolor, so this is pretty handy. I need to wash my hand because I'm going to get black paint all over the rest of this. I'm just going to take out each layer first. Okay, as you can see, we've got a load of really bright, sparkly colours. Um, aren't they sparkly? They're just shiny, is what I meant to say. And they're really bright, so let's just swatch these out, I guess, and then come up with something to draw with these bad boys. I'm really excited. I've been looking at this all week like I need to film. Of course, what I know from gouache is that you can use them wet, or you can just use them pretty opaquely with just taking the colour. These seem quite wet to me but let's let's try them out i think first of all i want to try out this color because i have my eye on it since it came out of the packaging yeah that's pretty opaque quite hard to use but i think if i add some water because i like to use gouache a little bit like i use watercolors yeah i think these are pretty nice and i'm gonna paint something with them all right it's voiceover time so I wanted to use this roller effect because I've been using it recently with poster paints and these paints kind of reminded me of poster paints a little bit so that's why I used it but then I realized the grain of the paper was too thick and it was just not working very well so I went in with my paintbrush and I fixed it up and that's the story and the tale of the roller. It's really interesting isn't it? So I thought what I would paint today is do something to do with my motel inspiration because I've recently talked about doing a comic about a motel or a haunted motel or something to do with that. I was thinking what I would do if I made that comic I would like to make it with each panel looking a little bit like this but maybe not so much just experimenting with paint shoving it around and making shapes and hinting at and being just really expressive with paint because I think that can work really well in a comic format in trying to express like emotions of the characters or the situation and mood and theme of the actual story. So I was really excited to just mess around with these and see how well I could use them because obviously they are an experimental paint because I didn't know if they were going to be any good because they were kind of like those paints or those art supplies that you get recommended on an advert and you think, hmm, are they any good? They look quite cool. Maybe they aren't good though, but I can confirm that these paints are really good. I really enjoyed using them. Maybe they're not top tier grade, but they they do the job. And I think that what I've created here today, I really liked. So, you know, job done really. I think they're about 30 pounds and probably like 25 dollars. I'm not sure of the exchange rate, but those are around the price of this. They also came with some paint brushes but I really didn't like the look of those so I just didn't use them at all. Um, maybe they are okay but I think you can kind of get an understanding of if a paintbrush is any good or not by just looking at it and seeing that it's kind of like really hard and bristly and I like to use soft brushes. <laughs> so I just wanted to paint a motel and I did that and like I said the paints are really nice. I mix them with a little bit of water, so I use them kind of like an opaque um, watercolour, which is really useful because you can get the expression that you get with watercolour, but you can also have the opaque opaqueness that you get with gouache. So it's really nice and you can layer up and you don't have to think of uh, working from light to dark. You can just go dark and then go light over the top and I think it's really useful. I really like the way that this mountain turned out because I was struggling with it for a little bit but then I thought I'd just do like basic shapes within the mountain and just hint at what the mountain would look like and I think I really prefer 
that kind of style. I don't know why, I just find it very satisfying to look at and I think the colours work well because they're all quite cool tones so it looks like the mountains, maybe it's quite a cold day and the mountains look cold and then we have more vibrancy as we come closer to the motel in the foreground which I think works well in at hinting at distance and the only thing that I regret about this painting is kind of the the bushes there I think what I could have done is focus on them a little bit more or maybe put some buildings in between the spaces but hey I think overall the painting comes out all right in the end so yeah like I said I was talking about doing another horror comic if you guys are new here you won't know but I did a horror comic a while ago it's actually on sale on Etsy at the moment and there's only like nine copies left I believe so that's pretty exciting because I'm I'm not sure if I'll print any more, but I might do, depends if uh, people want it. But it was a really good, fun project, so I really miss doing that kind of thing. But obviously, with my full-time job, I think it will be a lot harder to do that. Because it's hard to, like, summon the energy sometimes, am I right, guys? Yeah, so I was just going back in with different shading in this piece and just trying to figure out what would look good and what doesn't look good. I think what I'm doing with this uh, gouache is just basically laying down basic shapes and then laying more down on top of them and just really using that opacity situation to my advantage. So I guess to talk about the comic a little bit more, what I would do to gather inspiration usually is just start drawing different things that could have to do with the comic to try and find inspiration for the storyline more so than the actual art style. So I'll find inspiration for the storyline by drawing different things, different objects that I could incorporate into the story or could be a bit of a hook or could kind of be a prompt for me for writing. So like the motel is a big prompt for me. I saw this image and this kind of motel aesthetic is really pleasing to me. I think what I wanna do is just look at different images of that and just think about what kind of style I would want for the comic overall as well. It's an intertwined journey. So you're trying to find the style, but also it's inspiring the story. And that's really how I start off with any comic is just drawing whatever comes out of my mind onto the paper and trying then to follow that thought and find inspiration in different images on Pinterest and different images on Instagram and just look around really because I think there's lots of inspiration to be had out there. So yeah, the horror comic hopefully will come out one day, but I want it to be sort of a, a murderer, but maybe it's a little bit more to do with ghosts or maybe a monster of some kind. And yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. I haven't really gotten any further than that. I think what I want to do is have it about a woman who's run away from her husband and because it will be probably based in like the 1950s in America that's like heavily frowned upon so I want to intertwine that kind of with the story I think my old uh, comic was about somebody running away and finding a new life so this is a very similar theme and vibe at the moment but I think it's going to be very different in the sense of where the story goes so I'm getting a good good grasp of it so far and I'm not sure I think me and Chris are going to work on this together because two heads are better than one right and then we can do it after work every day and it's something fun to do together and yeah so i'm using the gouache and i can say that it is a very nice gouache so if you guys are looking for a beginner set one that looks particularly nice because i really do like the way that this palette looks it's super satisfying and just like pink and i think there's different colors i think there's a shiny black case with more colors in it so if you guys want to check it out it is on amazon it's 
It's a weird brand, I haven't really heard of it before, but it's H-I-M-I, so if you just search that, you'll probably find it if you fancy it. It's not sponsored by any way, I just saw this thing being advertised and thought, hey, that looks pretty cool, I'm going to give it a whirl. And I'm really glad I did, because I really enjoyed this, and I think it's easier to take wash from little pallets or these little jelly containers than it is to squirt them out of the tube. It's just, it's just easier. And then when I'm done, I can just seal it back up, and that's all good. I did use this over the period of two days, so I can say that it does stay um, wet, so that's pretty handy as well, so there you go. What do you guys think of the drawing? And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.